All right, guys, welcome to Dunk Bait, where we talk basketball and some things not basketball. We're doing it from the comfort of our homes because we are being responsible to humanity. You feel me? Uh, we're going to talk most obscure players to hit 50 points, Space Jam review, worst movie of all time. Anyway, most oh, disrespectful. Dude, we're going to get so mad. High school Euro <laughs> stuff. These kids are crazy now. Y'all are crazy. So there have been some odd people to get 50 points in a game. For me, the weirdest has definitely been Corey Brewer. And if you watch the tape, he probably took the most shots possible in the history of 50 point games to get 50 points. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was crazy. What about y'all? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Willie Burton, who is a very obscure name. So obscure in fact that if you look at the uh, the photo we got up, you, they had to use his basketball card. Cause there are no actual shots of the dude on the internet. He went to University of Minnesota in 94 with the Sixers. He dropped 53 on the Heat's head. And he, you know, a lot of people never heard this dude. So I'm, I'm rolling with Willie Burton. Dropping 53 piece. He only played in the league like seven, eight years. Averaged like 10 points for his career. So it was a very unexpected 50 piece. I actually thought you were talking about Will Barton. I was like, there's no Will Burton. I, 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 oh, I was like, I, I was like he has to be wrong. All right, my obscure 50 piece is uh, Rip Hamilton. He had a 50 point game. We don't talk about that. No one remembers that. He had won in his whole ass career. We don't talk enough or appreciate Rip Hamilton enough, so that's, that's mine. Rip Hamilton was a dog, especially at Utah. I know. I remember he beat a Duke team, had me crying at home in 99 Dude. because he beat like a, a Duke team that had five out of these top six players went to the league. You know what I'm saying? We watched Space Jail and a lot of Tweety did. How did y'all feel about it as an adult watching Space Jail? Someone I know had never seen it and they were texting with me like very excited to watch it. And they texted me, starting it up, gonna you know, like watching and, and try and tweet along. 12, 15 minutes into the movie, I get a text that is saying, holy shit, that movie's trash. I turned it off. This is like a good friend of mine. So, I, I don't know, nostalgia for me helps push it a little bit, but I've always said this is not a good movie. As a kid, I knew it was trash. I was a child. No. And I was like, this is garbage. I'd rather be outside playing than watch MJ get fed lines every two seconds. The best thing about it was the Space Jam. The best thing about Space Jam was the actual shoes. I cannot believe I'm hearing y'all doubt the validity of one of the greatest sports movies of all time. Cause look at the way the story came together. The script was cleverly crafted. Cleverly crafted. Basket. Mike's away no. playing baseball, so the monsters can take all the the, the, the remaining uh, mid hoopers. Uh, I think all things considered, Michael Jordan had a much better acting performance than Ray Allen. We know MJB at the crib drinking tequila, getting lit, not trying to talk to anybody, real introvert. Better than Ray say, Allen? Better than Ray Allen? Get, not even he close, got better bro. Movie. I mean, it's a better movie. And, and all the, I, I mean, dude, they both were trash. But there's different levels of trash. And, and at least we know Ray Allen to memorize his, 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 his line. MJ, you could tell he was like getting fed sentence by sentence. The real star of this was bad, was Lola Bunny though. Oh my God. Them, hey, hey, bro. Lola, hey, Lola one? <laughs> bro. Hey, it's hard out here, bro. You feel me? Wait, hey, is, 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 Lola, is Lola the baddest, is Lola the baddest cartoon character? Or, or does Jessica Rabbit have it? Jessica, Jessica Rabbit, Rabbit. killing Lola. Jessica Rabbit. Okay, I was gonna make sure, I wanna make sure we was all in the same place. I was gonna make sure we was all in the same place. Lola Bunny though, <laughs> I, but she, she's an athletic, she's an athletic baddie, you know what I'm saying? I, I yeah. respect and love that, you feel me? Oh, uh, I just wanted to say something off of uh, Space Jam real quick. There's a fun fact for you. Uh, Air Bud has a better Rotten Tomatoes score than Space Jam, which means a literal dog outacted Michael Jordan. So there you go. I think there's no other way. That, nothing else I need to say about that movie. We've been kind of looking into stuff that happened in the past. One of the things that's coming up, the anniversary of Shaq dunking on Dudley. And, oh, Deep in the post, on an island. Look at him. Oh. Yes. Oh. You know what he did was? He opened his legs and he hugged him with his legs, then pushed my man. Dudley throws the ball back at him on some play shit, because you know Dudley really didn't want it. Yeah. He had to pretend like he had some type of cojones, you know what I mean? Honestly, his feelings was hurt. He knew his family was watching. He knew the New York media was watching. He was about to get roasted. Thankfully, there was no Twitter in these days, because no. this dude would be a, a lifelong meme. We still talking about it, what, 20 years later? So yeah. he didn't he, yep. he didn't quite miss the boat on Twitter. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Sean ahead. Kemp dunking on Alton Lister. So what I loved about Sean Kemp during his Sonic days is every time he dunked on dude, he had a post-dunk reaction. So this particular time, he caught Alton Lister slipping, but then proceeded to point in his face with just like the most blatantly disrespectful uh -huh. And if you're Alton Lister, what, you know, what are you supposed to say? The Lister blister! <laughs> I, I, 
will <laughs> never forget that call by that commentator. The dude, he dunked him into the abyss. I've never heard anything about him since that moment, bro. Hey, my so most disrespectful dunk, in my opinion, is pipping on Ewing, bro. He yams oh. on Ewing, then walks over him and stands over him. Like, y'all want to see a dead body? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and then he told Spike to sit down. Right, sit your ass down. Spike was mad. He dunked on Ewing so bad that the, a fan felt disrespected. Kobe on, man, on, on Ben Wallace. Ridiculous, man. Volleyball line. Mm. Oh, my ah. God. I love it. Oh, they got crossed. Look at that. Now times five because it's preseason. You can't be getting dunked on that as a grown ass man in the is a dog. You gotta have some have some pride, have some respect for your. And, and why the hell are you taking a charge with young Kobe, bro? This is like early days of NBA Twitter too. So when DeAndre Jordan caught Brandon Knight, it went everywhere. The thing is, DeAndre Jordan, he's seven feet tall, so you, you generally don't have to give it up for footers when they dunk like that. But the dunk was so disrespectful and humiliating, and he was playing with the Clippers at that point. Matter historically, like, that's just like an ultimate L. He got it in front of a Mack truck. That's not a good decision, bro. In Brandon Knight's defense, though, after he got yammed on, he did go on Twitter, and he was funny about it. So he at least took it like a G. You play long enough, you're going to get boomed on. I know, I know I've got boomed on a couple times. It just happened. There's no tape of it, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it is. It is. All right, so these high schoolers are Weird, all right? I've never seen this particular Euro step, but this guy Euro stepped with one hand. The, the, the defender uh, evaporated, bro. He cuffed that joint like D Brown and, uh, uh, and then Bunny Road didn't even touch it with the opposite hand. I mean, bro, if I was a dude, I would have the defender that ran by him and got shook. I'm gonna clean out the gym, bro. We going right to the locker room. I see, I see almost as many impressive highlights from high schools as I see in, in, in NBA. I feel like I see more impressive highlights from high school than I see in college players. This is the dunk bait on, I guess what, um, at least a month long vacation edition. Yes. Um, I am LeJethro Jenkins. King Josiah 54, reminding you to wash your hands and your booty. I'm Zach, 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 stay safe. Hey bro, what y'all doing on, what y'all been doing? Call of Duty. Oh bro, did I jump in my driveway? Uh -huh. Saw a light glisten and for a second, I was like sniper. <laughs> Somebody was like, you finna have PTSD after this, bro. Yeah. <laughs>